Father, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. We give you the honor. Hallelujah. We give you the adoration. Father, we worship you. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. In Jesus' precious name. The prophet and the power of hope very, very quickly. Psalm 42, verse 5. And then verse 11. He said, Why art thou cast down? O oh, my soul, why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Why art thou cast down, O oh, my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. What is the place of hope in the life of a child of God? We talk so much about faith and that is very, very important. But there are those who talk about faith until it appears like hope is nothing. What is the profit of faith, of hope? What is the power of hope? Number one, hope is the oxygen of the soul. Is the oxygen of life. Hope is a sustainer of life. It has been said that a person can live for 40 days without food. It's possible. Not advisable, but possible. Can stay within between 3 to 7 days without water. Not advisable up to 7 days, but it's possible. The brain could survive maximum 4 minutes without oxygen. Anything after 4 minutes, the brain is dead. But nobody can survive even a second without hope. The end of hope is the start of death. When hope is lost, death begins to set in. Set in. People commit suicide at the peak of hopelessness. People sink into disease and depression and degeneration at the peak of hopelessness. What is the power of hope? Hope is this oxygen of the soul. is the sustainer of life. Number two, hope is the foundation for faith. Is the foundation for faith. Because Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So faith is substantiated hope. Faith happens where hope is concrete. So it is not possible for faith to be in place where hope is out of place. Faith cannot be substantiated where hope has not been concretized. You can't be hopeless and be faith-filled. They are diametrically opposed, mutually exclusive. You can't be hopeless and be faith-filled. And you know that your, your life is anchoring on your faith because the just shall live by faith. So if you don't have hope, you don't have faith. And if you don't have faith, your life is at risk. And you know that the things we receive from God, we receive them at the, at the frequency of faith. So faith is standing on hope. If your faith must be alive, your, your hope must be awake. And of course you know that without faith, it is impossible to please God, to move God, to get anything out of God. So hope 
is the oxygen of the soul the sustainer of life hope is the foundation for faith number three hope is a tonic of health is a tonic of health is a major ingredient of health why are thou cast down O my soul hope thou in god for the health of your countenance for i shall yet hope in him for the health of my countenance that's right i shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance he is the health of my countenance he is the health of my countenance the loss of hope is synonymous with the loss of health you can't be hopeless and be healthy where hope is out of place something begins to trouble the system you can't be hopeless and be healthy when hope begins to disappear health begins to disappear people can be sick without an infection because of the lack of hope the loss of hope the system is interrupted where hope is lost hopeless people are sickly people you look at them you see them they don't have hope they are just depressed and discouraged they are sickly so it's important to know that hope is the oxygen of the soul. Hope is the foundation for faith. Hope is key to health. Number four, hope is the magnet of help. It magnetizes help. You can only have help if you have hope. <laughs> you can only have help if you have hope. Psalm 42 verse 5 said, I shall yet be part, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Hope thou in God for the help of his countenance. Psalm 121 verse 1, I will look up to the hills. That is, I'm hoping in God. From whence cometh my help? Are you looking for help from God? Your hope must be intact. Let me say it this way. If your hope is in place, your help is on the way. Hallelujah. Say it after me. If my hope is in place, my help is on the way. Yes. If your hope is in place, your help is on the way. Help from God, help from man. The help of God travels in the direction of hope in man. If you can't see help coming, you will never see help. What you never see coming will never come. That is what hope is all about. Beloved, what is the profit and the power of hope? Hope is the oxygen of the soul sustainer of life it's foundation for faith is key to health hope is the magnet of help and again number five hope is a tonic for joy it's a tonic for joy romans chapter 12 verse 11 and 12 look at what he said Romans 12, 11 and 12. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation. Continuing instant in prayer. The key is rejoicing in hope. There is joy in hope. 
first thessalonians chapter 2 and in verse 19 paul the apostle speaking he said what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing are not even ye in the presence of our lord jesus christ that is coming what hope is a tonic for joy when you begin to lose your hope you begin to lose your joy hope cannot be out of place and joy is in place every time you begin to get depressed one of the differential diagnoses like we say in medicine <laughs> it's low level of hope in the blood hypohopemia whenever you begin to lose your joy you are, you are already losing hope in life that is how powerful hope is it affects your joy affects your help from from god affects your health affects your faith and of course the oxygen for your soul what are the secrets of hope number one the word of god the word of god the word of god Psalm 119.49 Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. You caused me to hope on your word. Psalm 119 verse 81 You caused me to hope on your word. My soul fainted for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Verse 114 of Psalm 119. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Psalm 130 verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait and his word in his word do I hope. The word of God charges your faith. It also charges your hope. It gives you the basis for expectation. It gives you the basis to keep on keeping on. Secrets of hope, the word of God. Number two, intimacy with God. Intimacy to him that is joined to the living there is hope ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 to him that is joined to the living to all the living and who is that living the living god there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion connection to god is connection to hope unity with god is unity with hope and distance from God is distance from hope. Romans chapter 15 verse 13. It talks about the God of all hope. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. That you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. He is the God of hope. When you connect with him, you abound in hope. You can't be God-filled and be hopeless. You can't be God-full and be hopeless. In this season of shutdown globally, your hope is in God. Run into God. Let the corona drive, drive you and drive you into God. Anything that makes you to run into God is not a bad thing. Well, let me say it like this. 
Anything that makes you to run into God has fulfilled a positive purpose, even if it started as a negative thing. Be driven into God. The God of all hope will cause you to abound in hope. To him that is joined to the living, there is hope. That is why godly people are enthusiastic, optimistic, positivistic people. Enthusiasm, optimism, positivism. That is the character of people who are God-connected. Intimacy with God. That is a central point if you want hope in life. Number three is confidence in God. Of course, out of your intimacy with God is your confidence in God. Because the people who know they are God, they shall be strong. They shall be strong. Daniel 11, 32, B. They shall be strong. They can't be hopeless. They can't be weak. They can't be shaky. They are strong. Confidence in God. Psalm 38, verse 15. He said, For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. That is, in you is my confidence. Thou will hear, O Lord my God. And then Psalm 42, verse 5 and verse 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in, in, in me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Verse 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him. Put your confidence in God. That is, this God is too faithful to fail. This God has not failed other people. Even myself, he hasn't failed me in time past. Now, I trust in him. Confidence in God. Confidence in God. The secret of hope number four, number three, and number four. Is the choice to hope. Hoping by choice. Meaning of that is they refuse her to lose hope. Say it another way. They refuse her to give up. I refuse. I can't give up. If a man lives, shall he man die shall he live again according to job 14 14 all the days of my life i will wait till my change come they refuse a simple refuser to give up hope thou in god hope hope hoping by choice hope thou in god hope thou in god for i shall yet hope in him According to Psalm 42, verse 5 and verse 11. Hope thou in God. That is a choice. It's a choice. Beloved, step into the word of God. Maintain intimacy with God. Confidence in God. And release the choice to hope. And refuse to give up. And when all these things are put together. You will experience life like never before. You will experience faith like never before. You will experience energy and health like never before. You will experience the help of God on your way. And you will experience joy that passes all understanding. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and appreciate him for hope today. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. The God who was, the God who is, the God who is to come. We love you. We honor you. We adore you. Jehovah Mekadesh. Jehovah Karen Yesha. Jehovah Olamore. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Because you are God. Because you are God. We worship you. We honor you. 
we adore you. Blessed be your name. Open your mouth and speak to God. Tell him I refuse to lose hope. I refuse to give up. I refuse to go down. I refuse to lose hope. I refuse to lose hope. I refuse to lose hope. Yes, Master. In Jesus' precious name.